Hey guys, we're here playing Spark, one of the new NBN IDs from Order and or from Data and Destiny. Pretty reasonable mulligan. We've got our Turnpike, which is small and taxing and annoying. And we've got a few more random things we can put out. So let's throw down this Adonis, and we will see. Hmm. If he wants, think, he's, think he wants to trash this. We're gonna throw this right out, right away, I think. Make him lose a credit. So this just really disrupts his turn if he wanted to like head to sure gamble. Now he has to click for credit first. Killing this, he kind of wants to, but it's annoying for him to do so. So this is whenever you and resin advertise and they lose a dollar. And we are packed full of advertisements. Basically as many as you can play. Well, we're playing two Adonis, so you could play three Adonis. But there's a lot of pads. We're playing Launch Campaign and Product Placement, which is pretty fun. Um, yeah, let's, let's annoy him. We'll give him a tag. So he loses a credit, and he's going to get a tag here. This is just all out taxing. If he hits the Product Placement, we'll get $2, which would be amazing. Now this card says five, but the automation says three. What's going on here? Turnpike. Hmm. It's taking a tag anyway, but we're gonna need to make note of that. Yeah, it's definitely trace five, so I'm gonna file, file a bug on that. On the issue tracker. He gets rid of my ash. Can deal with that, that's fine. Um, turn pike trace. Make a note of myself. Like, if nobody reports these, they just stay there forever, right? So, you really do have to. If there's an issue, you gotta report the issue. Uh, sweeps is pretty good here. Six bucks, four for the Adonis. He's so poor right now, right? So, we're gonna even raise the Adonis, put him to one dollar. Now, the Ash is protecting it. I think this is going to stay. Like making the runner lose money, it depends how much money they have in their deck. It can be kind of irrelevant or just like mildly annoying or it can really like hamper their turns in the early game. By making them unable to trash your stuff and letting you establish your board position. I think that laundry not good for him. That's what he needs is to get this this kind of low um, low cost economy card going on. We're playing NAPD, so he had a pretty low chance to get anything good there. And then our win con is the same sand sand as you would have in, in a fast advanced deck. Well, you can you can push agendas because we play two toll booth. Another laundry. I don't know if I like this play because now he's able. Oh, he wants the NAPD really badly, I guess. Oh, he wants to get rid of an Adonis really badly. Yeah, that's fair. Because the second run event did not gain from his can ability. Let's look for another ice and R and D. I would prefer to. Yeah, that Eli is what we're looking for. The booth is maybe a remote player, maybe an HQ play, depending if he's running siphons. But we can at least dump money into this trace. He's gonna siphon us. Um, yeah, we're gonna dump two there, and we're gonna boost the trace by two. We're gonna keep two dollars in our bank. And I'm guessing he doesn't want to take the tags for that. So since to avoid confusion, I think we're just gonna play the game as if this is trace three for now, and I'll, I'll try, I'll get it fixed later. Uh, uh, uh. OK, 
Okay, so he did not siphon us. Got rid of our sand sand, which is going to make him broke. I don't know if I agree with that play. So this ad blitz is a nice little one of. It's going to let us spam advertisements from archives. We gotta res them, so that makes the Adonis. You know, we can get back our Adonis right now. We have to pay four for it. I don't want to do that yet. There's an Astro. I should maybe draw with Jackson. Okay, we get another Sand Sand. Oh, this is the wrong play. I need to put my Sand Sand out. Because what I want to do is have money to dump into the Siphon in the event he tries to Siphon me again. We're not actually playing any tag punishment besides the fact that, um, nope, no tag, we have, no, we're not even playing the agenda that scores itself. No, we're just not punishing tags. Leg work, so he's gonna float. And we're gonna be sad, because this Astro is probably gone. But we get two extra product placements, so can't complain about that. So I think we need to play our Tobe with on the HQ, or can it go somewhere else? Well, let's look for more ice. Rob Brown's pretty good. I think we play the booth on HQ so we can stop him from siphoning us too badly. And then we can put the wrap around here and it should hold for a little bit. This is a cute little agenda. I really like this concept. That they can score, then you're just like, nope. So we're playing one breaking news and then the one per deck we're allowed to discard. 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> uh, that's great. So Archangel comes up, another cool ice, big trace on him. And doesn't have much to, to do it on right now, so we won't worry about that yet. He's so poor, I think I might even add Blitz to get both Adonis campaigns back. Yeah, let's do that. He's gonna lose a dollar and he's gonna have a hard time getting rid of these. Yeah, that seems good. Um, I'm gonna throw the product placement in the archives so that if he tries to laundry there, he'll we'll get two bucks. And next turn we'll score our BL off the sand sand. And we'll get this show on the road. Passport. Okay. Ooh, the launch campaign's kind of good. Do we just score this right now? I think we just score the Beal. If he comes to HQ again, we can just shuffle this out of his score area. He needs to kill one of these Adonis campaigns, but I don't know if he can afford to. Oh, now we can afford to. He's coming for our Sand Sand. Does he have the money? He doesn't really, right? He's just going to get rid of the Ash. I guess he can pay four to win the Trace, and then three more to trash the Sand Sand. Or it's four and five, rather. No, he's just going to get rid of the, the Ash. That's fair. Ooh, 
Well, we cannot leave that in our hand. We need that for sure. Now we can res wrap around. He's looking like he's in rough shape here. So this is an upgrade and it would stack on top of our sand sand. Oh, nice. Uh, we'll shuffle in product placement, sand sand, and ash. Just to minimize the chance he hits here. But that's definitely where he wants to go because he needs to sign from drawing more agendas. Don't mind installing this. It doesn't do a ton. If we put the passport back in his hand, we don't really care yet. Gets a breaking news. That's the one he wants. So now we do want to score this 15 minutes. Because it's a 2-1. Uh, there's another sand stand. That's not good. This is not really good either. Put this out the door. And we'll fire off a launch campaign. Damn for a dollar. He wants to trash that, that's fine. Astro bar. <laughs> I really like that card. The low trash cost is unfortunate, but it's really fun. The art and the theme. Get out of my server, sir. Get out. Uh, yeah, I, I want to tax him for three. Keep him completely broke. That pop-up's not really what we want. I think I'm gonna draw off of the Jackson to try to get an agenda. It's not the one we want. Do we ice the R&D so he can't make us again? We just try to win next turn off the sand sand. I think we ice the, the R&D. Leaving, this is pretty safe in HQ, and the next turn we can install three advances and the, or sorry, install two advances and use the Astro token to win. This would be a lot better had he gotten his rig together, but we've been just been hitting him so hard with the with the taxes, and making him trash stuff. He hasn't got anywhere. Could probably have installed this on top of the sand sand way back. Well, I don't know. It's cool that it protects your assets. And they lose a dollar whenever you res it. That's fun. A lot of fun card in Day and Destiny. They definitely did NBN right, because it's it's not just making Astrobotics better, it's kind of taking it in a different direction a little bit. With more tag shenanigans. Yeah, and that's just too slow. And there we have it. So just just pour the entire time. King Anus 3. A strange name, but oh well. Whatever floats this boat. Thanks for watching, guys.